Well, Lieutenant Colonel Ramsey is uh, coming home for the holidays uh, to be with his family. And um, it's just a very festive occasion because I've been in Afghanistan for a year. Mm -hmm. And just to get back home and see the family is just, uh, it's still just a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm coming back to see my, my two daughters, my son and my, my grandchild, of course. Okay. And uh, of course, I have another son too who uh, has some issues, but uh, that'll come out, you know, in the film. I don't want to give that away. Yeah, okay. Right. Are you surprised? Do you have any surprises when you come home? <laughs> well, uh, my granddaughter, uh -huh. for example, uh, I, I wasn't aware of her, but I, I sort of heard of her, but I didn't really, had never, I hadn't, it's my first time to see her. Uh -huh. And so I was very elated to see her. Uh, uh -huh. And, uh, and, okay. and she, uh, she's, a, she's a wonderful character uh, as an actor, but also as uh, the, uh, one of the uh, principal uh, figures in the, in the film, mm -hmm. uh, she's, uh, she's a very interesting character. And of course, as my granddaughter, I really loved seeing her. You know, I really felt uh, a connection with her. Okay, okay. Well, Malia is an aunt who is focused on the reason for the season, being that it's Christmas, and she's dealing with her niece, Nicey, who is having some traumatic issues going on based around her father and um, some of the family concerns that's taking place within the season of Christmas. The aunt is one who is trying to bring the family together um, in hopes of just being able to bring love back into it, her concern about her niece, the concern about her brothers. Uh, one being the niece's father, which is why she has the niece. And with all of these issues taking place, even after the loss of a loved one, um, is the reason that Malia is so hardly wanting to bring her family together for this season. Okay. Okay. My character right. is Nicey Ramsey, uh -huh. a seven-year-old blind girl, and she plays most of the parts about on every page. And she has a lot of lines, so mm -hmm. we, and we practice about two days or one day a week, uh -huh. and mostly on the weekend. Okay, you're, you're answering questions I didn't even get a chance to ask you yet. <laughs> uh, uh, tell us about your role. Okay. My role yes, is uh, Nicey yes. Ramsey, yes. and she's blind, so it's kind of hard for her because if she doesn't really know the place, it's kind of hard. But you just all you, the technique is just touching and feeling where where you have to go. Then you'll be all right. That's what it is. Okay, so you're telling us uh, uh, what how it feels to be a blind person yeah. in that role. Uh, I kind of am in Nicey because. I like to dress up. She likes mm -hmm. to be with her family. I love being with my family. Mm -hmm. I love going with friends, and I also like eating, so yes. that's a good part. Okay, okay. Well, uh, it's the holiday season, and as uh, typical, uh, families gather for good times, and some of the times uh, get... Uh, overly joyous and become problematic and this is one of those occasions that the family had gathered and uh, there's some conflict and one thing leads to another. I'm not going to reveal too much of the plot but this is just a background that uh, happened earlier. The majority of the movie takes place at a later date, but it all revolves around family and good times and how good times can, in some circumstances, go bad. I play the ex-girlfriend, um, my name is Michaela in the movie, mm -hmm. and I play the ex-girl of Sonny, mm -hmm. and um, she's uh, basically talking to him on the phone, mm -hmm. and we're having a conversation about our relationship and just things that have gone on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I know that she calls him on Christmas Eve. What a time to call uh, an ex-boyfriend on Christmas Eve, you know. Uh, she's away at school, uh, you know, trying to graduate and uh, sacrificing coming home because of uh, her commitment to completing school. And 
and uh, what, what kind of problems are they having? Her well, and her boyfriend. Well, they they had an issue uh -huh. <laughs> before he left school. Yes. And, um, okay. you know, I don't want to, like he said, I don't want to give away too much. Yes. But yes. Um, she really is trying to, you know, she's kind of trying to rekindle what they have. Okay. And um, she's hopeful that, you know, they can get back together and okay. and start where they, you know, finished off. Okay. Uh -huh. I played as Sonny's mother. And uh, I was on the phone. And I was really upset because... My son, which is Sonny's brother, was shot. Okay, okay. Um, and this is what they uh, Christmas. Yes, Christmas it was doing Christmas. Yeah, and that's a sad time for any bad news like that to happen. Well, only similarity is I'm a mother. Okay. And I have one son. Okay. So I kind of feel how the mother was when her son got shot. And it's devastating to any parent Yes. if that happened to their child. Well, I play a young female who witnessed a crime happen where a little boy gets hit by a car because he was playing tag in the streets. Okay, all right. And, and I understand that um, while you are reporting that incident, something else happens. Yes. And uh, what, what, what you can share with the audience uh, what, what happens. As, you won't give nothing away. <laughs> as I'm talking to the reporter, someone gets shot across the street. Okay, all right. Another dramatic event happens while you're reporting on that, correct? Yes. 